Hello everyone, this is Gino Crochet Gal. Welcome back to my channel. I am here today to show you this cute little mini stocking. So cute, right? Isn't this adorable? Now this one is a pattern that I got from um, her channel name is Whistle and Ivy Modern Crochet. Okay, so you can go check out her video on how she created this um, cute mini stocking. Now, I'm going to take it up a notch by increasing the size and I'm going to bring it to you step by step in hopes that you can create it yourself and that I don't um, delete any parts of this video that you're going to need to to uh, complete um, uh, your, your uh, pattern. Okay, so for starters here, it's a magic circle with 10 single crochets in it. The next step here, <clears throat> I have my marker in the last stitch, and I am going to put two single crochets in each stitch, which is going to bring our total to 20 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here, and then I'll begin up again at the end of row two. Okay, so we completed row two. In row three, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch round, and it'll be the same number of stitch count, which is going to be 20. So row three is one single crochet at the end in every stitch, and I'll meet you at the end of row three. Okay, I completed row three, and I went on to row four. So what you're going to do, rows four through eight, is you're going to do a single crochet around, and I'll meet you at the end of row eight. Okay, so here's what we look like at the end of row 12. The next thing we're going to do is the heel portion, but because we're not going to do a color change, we're not going to follow the original instructions from this pattern here, okay? So we're going to go ahead and put our marker in the last stitch, and we are going to begin with round number 13, which is the heel. Okay, so first we are going to do three half double crochets. One, two, and three. Now this is completely different from the original pattern. And I did crochet one, it one time, like a test type thing, to see if it looked okay, and it was okay. So hopefully it'll come out good in this one. So after the three double crochets, we're going to do one double crochet. And you're going to try to pull up the loops as far up as you can so we can get some height right here in the middle. And then after the three, uh, one double crochet, sorry, we're going to do three more half double crochets. One, two, and the last one, three. Okay, next is going to be two single crochets. One, two, and then we're going to chain one and turn, okay? So we are forming the heel. So we're going to go ahead and work the back side. Okay, so the next row, we're going to skip this first stitch and we're going to do one half double crochet in this stitch here. So we're skipping here and we're going to the next one. One half double crochet. Okay. And then, and I'm looking at my pattern, so it's taking me a minute. Then we're going to do three half double crochets. One, two, and three. And again, it is so difficult for me to do this through a lens. Okay, so next we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch. 
oh, that doesn't feel right. <clears throat> and then we're gonna skip the next stitch, which is here, and skip this one, and we are going to do a slip stitch in the next. Oh, boy, my thumb hurts. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we're looking like. All right, I'm going to turn it around so you can see it. I think that's okay. If it doesn't come out exact, it's okay. But I will try to list the pattern out for you so you can follow along. Okay, so we're going to chain one and turn. This is the last row of the heel. Okay. So again, we're going to skip this first stitch right here. We're not going to work that one. We are going to do one half double crochet in the next one, right here. And we're going to do another half double crochet. I should just put two HDC. And then you're going to skip this stitch right there. We're going to skip that one. We're going to move to the next one right here. And we're going to do a slip stitch. We're going to pull that up and we have formed our heel. Okay, we're going to take a breather and then we'll come back with the next step. Okay, so we ended off with our slip stitch right here. So the next uh, row is going to be chain one and we're going to single crochet in that same stitch. So this is the beginning of our next uh, row. Okay, so we're going to do three single crochets down the heel, okay? And put those three single crochets wherever you can fit your hook. So here's one. Come on. <laughs> Two. And again, it is wherever you can fit your hook. And we're going to put one right here. I normally don't work this section, but because this has a little bump here, I'm going to go ahead and put it in just for the sake of the video. Okay. Okay. So that's three down the hill. Heel. <laughs> All right. So the next one here, we're going to work across the front of the stocking. Okay. So we are not going to insert here, but we're going to insert right in the next stitch. And you're going to single crochet 12. Okay, 12 across. And this stitch right here should be your 12th. Okay, then you're going to go up the heel with three single crochets. And then you're going to connect right here because this is our beginning stitch. All right. And I'll try to do as much as I can with you. Two, three, I think that was the count. Four, and again, if it doesn't come out exact, it's okay as long as your stocking is the way you want it to look. And all I'm doing is doubling the original pattern to make it the size that I want it. So you can always refer back to the original pattern, which is, I'll let you know what her name is again. <clears throat> her channel name is Whistle and Ivy Modern Crochet. Okay, so I think we're coming up, it's getting dark so I can't see very well, but I believe this is the last stitch. Then you're going to go up the hill, heel, I keep saying hill. <laughs> so anywhere you can put those three stitches, go ahead and do that. And the tighter it is, the better it looks. Two, and the last one, three. Again, I am just kind of putting it wherever because I can't see too well right now. And then we are going to slip stitch to connect it and chain one, okay? Because now we're gonna be working um, not in the round anymore like here, 
we are just going to slip stitch to connect and we're going to keep going uh, upward. Okay, so that's what we're looking like. And I'm again, I'm going to take a breather and we will continue in a minute. Okay, <clears throat> see where we ended before, <clears throat> we're like a stitch over, which I don't like because we should actually be right in the middle of the heel. But I'm going to continue on right there. We're just going to have our... Um, our seam off to the side but hopefully it'll come out okay all right so from here we are going to do uh, rows 16 through 21 I may change or increase from 21 higher just based on how I like how it looks up up top like this section I may need more need more than 21 uh, rows on here Okay, so but for now, you're going to go ahead and work all the way around and um, I'll count the number of stitches you should have at the end. You're going to do rows 16 through 21 by doing a single crochet in each stitch and I'll give you the stitch count in a second. Okay, we're at the end of uh, row 16. So um, we have two stitches left. And we should end with 20 stitches. I don't know how to fix this section here. So if you have any ideas, just go ahead and comment below. I don't want to undo it. I know this seems going to be off and awkward. But we're going to continue on. Again, the seam should be right here in the middle. But since this is a, so a stocking and it's going to be, you know, flattened, it should be okay. So go ahead and complete rows 17 through 21 is which I, what I have marked. But if you want to make them, make it higher, more than 21 rows, go ahead and do so. And I will come back at the end of the row where I think I'm going to be stopping. Okay, now if you choose to do after the 21st row, if you want to do a color change with white, you can do that. I am just going to make an additional three uh, rows of the same yarn here, and I'm just going to fold it over, and I will be done. Okay, so I will come back with the finished product, and let's see what it looks like. Okay. I apologize for the muffling sound at the beginning of each segment. I don't know why that's happening. Anyways, I decided to stop at row 22. I did one extra row, and here's what it looks like, and I think this is balanced nicely. I'm gonna stop here. I'm not gonna do three extra rows for the brim to fold over. I decided not to do that. I think this is a good look, and because this particular yarn has a speckled um, wire type yarn in it as you can see here so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop but if you would like to put a hanger on it you can just do a single crochet for the desired hangers size I'm doing 10. You can make yours longer or shorter if you like. And then just go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch and then fasten off. And there's what we look like now. Remember when I said that I did not like how the seam was going off to the side here? It wasn't in the middle. Well, I'm telling you what I did, and I thought this was ingenious, because <laughs> remember, I was over to the right a stitch. Well, all I did was a back stitch. Okay, that's all I did, is I just moved the stitch over by inserting my hook, bringing the loop through over to the right, and then I started again. So that kind of uh, fixed that little issue I was having. So I think this is a really good look, okay? So the finished size is, let me get my ruler here. Let's see, so the finished size, put a 
by the zero is about five and a half inches. Yeah. Whereas the original one oops, was about four and a quarter or so, approximately, or four and a half. Okay, well, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you um, go ahead and try your own pattern. But that's a real fun way to, to make your own, um, and I'm a great believer in creating your own works of art. <laughs> And um, so yeah, give it a try. And if you don't like this particular size, all you do is increase it um, how you want yours uh, finished size to come out. Well, thank you for watching everyone. Have a great day and we'll talk to you next time.